Republican lawmakers at the state capitol are again introducing bills that would impact transgender individuals. Jonah Carell was at the capitol today where they held a press conference to talk about a bill that would define a person's sex for state law purposes. Today, GOP lawmakers presented the Arizona Women's Bill of Rights. They say the bill brings clarity to state laws around sex discrimination and preserves single-sex spaces. Those opposing the bill say it will limit the transgender community who identify as female from participating in certain activities. A number of lawmakers and supporters joined Senate Majority Whip Sina Kerr as she rallied for SB 1628. The Arizona Women's Bill of Rights helps protect women and girls from unwanted intrusions by males into intimate spaces. This is reasonable and appropriate. It seems as if every day we're hearing more examples of girls and women physically injured, relegated to the bench, and bumped off the winner's podium by males competing as females. Joining Kerr was former University of Pennsylvania swimmer Paula Scanlon, who shared her experience of competing with Leah Thomas, a transgendered athlete. One may ask, why do I speak so passionately about issues that seem hypothetical or that some may perceive as impacting only a small number of women? This is not hypothetical. This is real. I know women who have lost roster spots and spots on the podium. I know of women with sexual trauma who are adversely impacted by having biological males in their locker room without their consent. The human rights campaign said in an email they are opposed to this bill, saying among other things that it's a systematic effort to dismantle personal freedoms, roll back progress, and harass and intimidate communities into submission. Governor Katie Hobbs did not respond directly to this new bill, but her office sent us a statement saying the governor has made clear her stance on legislation that harms transgender youth. She has used her veto pen for every bill she deems harmful to this community. From the newsroom, Jonah Krell, Cronkite News.